Every journey begins with a first step. You know, I'm a very active person, a very active lifestyle. I'm on my feet all the time. And I was riding on top of the wave in terms of marathon running goes for my age class. And then in December of 2012, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. It hit like a ton of bricks. That was the cards we were dealt. We had to deal with it. So I sought out medical advice from the physicians I knew and tried to get them diagnosed and treated as quick as possible. I really needed to speak to someone who had pancreatic cancer, who had been through the treatment, so I could understand what to expect. My close friend Kevin Powells suggested I attend the Hirschberg Symposium for Pancreatic Cancer at UCLA. I met people there who, very long-term survivors, 10, 12, 14 years since diagnosis, and at that point, I just got tremendously encouraged. I had hope, a renewed hope. My surgery was scheduled for one week after the Boston Marathon. Not knowing if I'd ever be able to run again, I decided to run the Boston Marathon to cross that finish line one more time. When I was just 20 yards from completing my goal... This is an ABC News We're interrupting the program because there have been two explosions today. Twin bombings uh, near the finish line at the Boston Marathon. It's an incredibly shocking event uh, to relive in my mind. And I have tremendous compassion for the families of the victims who were killed and injured. I returned home and was determined to face my surgery head on. The day after surgery, I could not move. I could not move a single arm or leg in my body without feeling pain. Sharon, over the course of the next six days, was there. She was there with me continuously, but every two or three hours she would say, we're going to get up and walk now. And like I, like I say at the time, I thought she was crazy. Sharon continued that therapy, that coaching, uh, for the next few months to return me back to a running condition. I was able to participate in last year's LA Cancer Challenge. There's tremendous amount of energy that comes from a team event. And we run together, we train together as a team. Uh, having those people around me was a tremendous inspiration. And I have returned to a completely active lifestyle all because of Sharon. I just knew I had to be strong because I couldn't cry in front of him and we had to get through it. I've had tremendous emotional swings, ups and downs. And most of the downs have been when I'm alone. So having people there uh, in support of pancreatic cancer has been just fabulous. My name is Phil Kent, and I'm honored to be here today running in the 17th annual LA Cancer Challenge. Join me in taking that first step together in the fight against pancreatic cancer. <laughs>